the body shape is the person's responsibility, but the body type is what your mama gave you. Slide and disc exercises are challenging full body workouts. We are successfully aging. It's never too late to start. And you gotta make that commitment to yourself. Nothing beats a failure but a try. Hello, it's your boy Tony Hill, and we have another segment for you on Ageless. And remember, you're never too old to learn, right? That's what we that's what we talk about all the time on this program. Remember, this platform is international. We're being viewed live all over the world to include a wonderful place where Mike Green is from, which is Sweden. We have a really wonderful guest today, Jennifer Smith, and we're looking forward to talking with her. She has an extraordinary story. She's an extraordinary person that we all want to meet. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce my partner of salubrious activity, Doug Jeffrey. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Tone. Happy Sunday, buddy. Hey, man. How you doing, brother? Oh, hey, how's the weather in California? Uh, it's actually beautiful right now. So really? A little bit of a heat wave again. So, uh, yeah. Great, crazy, uh, crazy summer, crazy times. You know, you want to really start to believe that global warming really needs to be um, addressed. Yeah, I know, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so, you know, hey, newsflash, there is literally, um, like the number 12%, remember I gave you 12%, 12% of the United States population is metabolically healthy. Yeah, I know, I'm sure a percentage of them are on both coasts when you really think about it. Correct, and, and check this out. Every year, it is literally declining. And why is that, Tom? That's because of one thing. Here's somebody actually came out and said it. They said, the uh, physician said it on the news. She said, they said that because we don't discuss the root cause, which is obesity, we stay away from that. We, we, we highlight all the disease, we highlight everything else, but we don't really talk about the food. Like when, when we were talking about Captain Crunch and when we talked about, remember all that other stuff? They're, they're, they're promoting that as healthy foods. And we talked before about let's, uh, let's adulterate everything almost to the point of poison in the United States where you know, when we were chatting with um, Mike Green in Sweden from the EU, it's yeah. completely different. There, there, there's products that they put in our food today that are banned yeah. in, in the EU. So what does that say? And what, what it's, we're, we're the only country where health insurance is a major business. You know, that's really true. I never thought about it like that. It's a business. I never really thought, I, you know, is, is it, and I think burial insurance too, is that like, uh, uh. <laughs> what it costs, it costs, because I know it costs an average of $5,000 to bury, bury a person. Well, a block. Be buried. I, I personally, I don't want to be put in a box in the ground. I'd rather be uh, cremated. Hey, I thought about that too, because it's all over. So I'll finally get to travel to all those places I want to go before I, you know, uh, you, before. You, I have you, you up. Leave it to you, Doug. Man, I'm telling you, that's crazy. Our bucket list is, you know, I'm going to, we're still going to do the thing where I'm going to jump out of an airplane and you're always, you're invited to do it. But, uh, jump out of oh man, I don't know, man. I'm probably going to be, there was a scene on this television show where this guy, you know, he's, he's marrying this girl. He jumps out of the airplane. But actually, what he does is he throws up. Oops, I think we lost Doug. Um, yeah, I popped out. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving. You popped out, man. Pop back in, man. We can't I do that. I gotta pop back in. You gonna pop? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta pop back in. Let's see what happens. Can you turn the lights back on? I lost everything. Uh oh. Uh, technical difficulty, folks. Just hang on one second. Yeah. So the guy he threw, he actually threw up, and I'll tell. I'll finish the story when you come back on. But I want a special thank, a uh, shout out our, to our partners. Our sponsors, you know, Jeff Rose Botanicals, uh, Shaw Consulting, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, let me just... TK Fitness, uh, and 41 Sets in Production, which is Doug Jeffrey's uh, a production company in Los Angeles, California. One Productions, what's going on? Are you coming back? No, let me, let me, uh, I think I got a. Uh... Oh, we live too, man. Oh, Doug, man. This is... There we go. Woo! 
I'm back. Man, I fixed it. Look, you see my hair shining, right? Because you know when you live, when you live, you just got to let it roll, right? Let it go. For those who are watching, we like for you to subscribe, share, and like our show because uh, it helps us. Uh, it helps our ratings. Uh, if you want to see the prior shows, just go to Ageless uh, Live show and you can actually see it on youtube and everything if you missed a show yeah, uh, interesting things and, you know once again our platform is all about uh sharing and giving back and we're all unique to our dna which i constantly keep saying so and we learn from each other you know our, yeah. our goal is to advise and edify and transmogrify uh just you could hear something from one of our guests or us just the the, the back and forth you know we have how many years of experience of, a lot yeah. Yeah, respecting the temple that was given to us, you could hear something that could spark something that really could change your life. I mean, you are what you eat. It's never too late to start. And that's why, you know, the platform used to be fit over 50, but we wanted to go to a broader audience with yeah. ageless. I mean, you, you, could, you could have that quality of life yeah. at whatever age. It, it's never yeah. too to start taking care of yourself. That's yeah. where it all starts. If you, if you take care of yourself, you have so much more to offer not only to your, your your friends, your loved ones, you 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 become this beacon of light and, yeah. and hope. So it's very important. Everything starts with you. And you know, we got people. People are uh, actually uh, watching us right now. They sent me a photo. So those <laughs> those people that are watching, I I think I, I want you to ask the questions. Okay, this is your opportunity. And yeah, keep in mind, we're going to start a uh, plan. Huh? Put us on the spot. We that's we yeah, love. That's what this is yeah. about. Nobody has all the answers. Let's face it. Right. Doctors, you, you you go to these doctors that they're they're, they're they're my words, pedantic sons of a guns. They're just going to talk about what they've learned in a in a in a book. Yeah, we've lived it. Sixty four. Yeah. I'm going to be sixty one. Uh, actually, a week from today. So uh, a week, birthday party uh, next Sunday. Okay. Okay. Right, next Sunday is my birthday. It's, oh, it's gonna be a special show, yeah. Special show. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and uh, keep in mind we also have the plant based. Uh, just want to say we have the plant based challenge. Uh, you're going to be everyone who wants to be involved in the plant based six week plant based challenge will be actually under the uh, tutelage of Mike Green. And you know, without further, let's bring Mike in to share, which is really incredible. Uh, I think we have a video because we're going to bring Mike in to oh, talk about yeah, mushrooms. I, I love his videos. So yes. Yeah, so without further ado, let's let's see what Mike has for us today. Okay, so today we found some chanterelles uh, in the forest here in Sweden, and they are a very good source of vitamin D, vitamin C, and also rich in the mineral iron. Oh, look at all those, uh, those are the big um, mushrooms over there, the fly agaric, the poison ones. So while we're here in the forest and think about mushrooms amongst these plant species, the thing about mushrooms is that they are the world's greatest decomposers. And without them, imagine that they would be dead animal carcasses all over the forest. So fungi, species of mushrooms are very important part of the ecosystem. Now the guru of Sweden, Rambro, Michael Rambo, Green. Good videos, buddy. That's for Asian. Good. That's a good job, bro. What is that? Did, what is that? Black mushrooms. Black mushrooms. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we have. Uh, this is the golden uh, chanterelle. This is the golden one, uh, and this is the the black uh, chanterelle. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Are those, which one of those? Iberius. 
Can't which one of those make you see? Which one of those make you see things? No, that's that, that that's a psilocybin. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's that's, that, 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 that's some other stuff. I mean, they have some psychedelic uh, mushrooms out here, but uh, we just pick the ones that we know that's safe uh, and that's great for human health. You know, uh, what, what what are the ones that uh, they're delicacies that you know. Uh, restaurants pay like a crazy amount of money. You saw Portobello. Truffles. 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 Yeah, truffles. I mean, the uh, okay. truffles is just ridiculous. And it's a fungus. Yeah, truffles is, is out here. They they actually, they have special um, dogs that learn to, that, that are trained to sniff them out. Wow. And uh, they, they, they can go, you know, you could get one nice, uh, let's say, uh, the size of it, a tennis ball, a truffle, right? That yeah. could go for about thirty grand. I know it's it's, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we explain to people, you know, obviously you just don't want to go out and pick wild mushrooms because there are a percentage of them that are extremely poisonous. So yeah, do you research awareness. research? Oh, yeah. So Michael, what 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 do they? I mean, uh, I mean, health wise, what do they actually? Oh change? man. There's so many benefits to these uh, to these mushrooms, especially the the chanterelle. For one, they are rich uh, in the mineral potassium. Okay, potassium is a natural electrolyte. This potassium is excellent for people that have hypertension, aka uh -huh. high blood pressure. Okay, and then we have magnesium, which is for your your muscles. Also excellent for your your heart. This is mm. why when when people get heartburns and things of that nature, they tend mm -hmm. to take magnesium and calcium. They actually have tablets for that. Wow. Me, I'm just blessed to get it from my my food. And mm. then you have um, you have iron <clears throat> that is responsible for carrying the oxygen uh, through the red blood cells to your lungs. Hmm. Uh, is, is very, very important. Uh, and, and then we have also vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. In wow, the and mushrooms. The That's two, why, who, who knew this? And yeah, what is yeah. the difference between, can, can you explain to a, a, a fungus? How does it what, the different from, uh, you know, plants? What, 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 what is the purpose of a fungus, as you said? Yeah. Briefly? Yeah. It, it, it'd take it take us about maybe a hundred shows for me to break down that that fungus. Uh, genus species? Can you get me with the genus species? That whole species is, is part of the the, the five uh, plant kingdom. Hmm. Uh, you know, so it, it's part of that family. But just to make it very simple and comprehensive, um, mushrooms are one of the world's greatest decomposers. Hmm. Because they take dead matter, decompose it to make their own food. Okay. Wow. I all love right. I love you, imagine, Mike. I learn something every single time. Yeah, and I hope so all the imagine if it wasn't for mush uh, mushrooms and certain species of fungi, they would be dead animal carcasses all over the forest, littered. That's how important mushrooms are. Wow. So they decompose the organic matter to get their food. That's what they do. And sometimes you you got some gangster mushrooms too. What they do is <laughs> they rob, they rob trees. Oh yeah, they rob the trees from their nutrients. Wow. Because they, they, they have special relationships uh, with trees. So huh. they feed the trees the nutrients, and then the the, the trees feed them the water. Sometimes the mushrooms doesn't keep their end of the bargain going, you know. Oh, I think so it's, a, it's an amazing species. Yeah. So you got vitamin D two, vitamin D three. The difference is vitamin D two <coughs> is uh, coming from plants. Uh, vitamin D three is coming from animals. So hmm. What we do uh, sometimes, what I do. Um, is that I make my own vitamin D supplements uh, by drying the mushrooms, 
And then once they're dried, I put them in a mason jar. I put rice in them to prevent the uh, moisture from happening. And the way I do that is that I put them on a cooking, uh, a sheet. Uh, I'll put them on here. Uh -huh. I take them out in the sun from the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and let them sit in the sun. So what happens is the sun, it goes into the mushrooms, the gills from the mushrooms absorbs the sun and it converts it into vitamin D. Now I put a cardboard box after 4 p.m. on top of the mushrooms to prevent the moisture from coming in overnight. And then the next day I repeat that process as many times as I need to until the mushrooms are completely dry. Now, once they're dried and then they're placed inside the mason jar, then I break them down in a coffee grinder and turn them into a powder form. This way I could put them in my own capsules or I can make a simple tea out of it and just drink it. And that, that's my source of vitamin D, especially for the winter, yeah. being out here in Sweden when it's mostly dark during okay. the winter. It's not that much sun. That's that's interesting. That's hey, nice. hey, guys. You go from like, a, a, as you say, you, you basically have your own uh, supermarket of all these natural things in your backyard. And the natural way to go, because a lot of these uh, vitamin companies have been taken over by uh, Big Pharma and they're using everything synthetic um, with, within, you know, your, your, your natural vitamins. So... Uh, it's the beauty of we always want to stay uh, natural. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you know, and to put it all in a nutshell, uh, Doug, we are not synthetic human beings. We weren't made synthetic. Exactly. Yeah. That's, so that's why a, why that's would you put something point. synthetic into yeah. your body? So everything from nature, especially when you first pick it and it's in season, this is powerful fuel for your body. And, you know, things that's plant-based, what's so special about it? Well, they're very easy to digest okay. and it gives your body that energy and you pay attention to how you feel. So okay. do you want to feel alive after you eat yeah. or do you want to feel like you're taking a walk to the graveyard after you eat? So, hey, guys, I, I really I really hate to interrupt you guys right now. But you know oh, we got to guess we're getting into the thing, <laughs> and I, we're gonna finish this though. Well, we are. We we have the challenge. And yeah, we, gonna, yeah. Because well, Mike, we're gonna talk about the challenge. We're gonna talk about the challenge and everything. But I have to introduce this lady, and we're going to hear the story. I call her Superwoman, but she don't really. I don't know. She's so modest sometimes, you know. So she looks at me and she smiles and everything. But I think she's a great person. And she she's very she has been very instrumental in uh, you know me training uh, uh, at where she works and but I want this to be really about her uh, her journey and her life so that every woman out there can know that there is nothing you can't do and after talking to Jennifer Smith you will understand what I'm talking about so without further ado let's introduce Jennifer Smith to the show. Hi, Jen. Hello. Hey, hey Tony. Yes, she Hi. is. Oh, nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. And an audience, we'll be back with Mike Green to actually talk about the challenge and things like that once we finish with Jennifer. But hey, Jen, so how's your day today? I'm having a good day. So, you know, I'm going to ask you some questions now. The whole world is listening to you. So don't get nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Doug, you got something for her? I want you to ask her. Because see, I know you've been going gym for quite some time. Let me tell you, this woman swam Alcatraz, right? Yeah. That's she crazy. Can. How far is that, actually, by the way? It's, well, it's supposed to be a mile and a half. The last time I did it, the current kind of swept me down toward the Golden Gate Bridge, and it ended up being two and a half miles. Wow, but that's <laughs> why they say it was built. The currents are crazy. And yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. You talk about being, uh, and my, you mind me asking your age? 51. Ah, you look amazing. Thank Don't you. Don't see, though. 
Now, now I'm going back to the current. I mean, if a current swept me, it was supposed to be a mile and a half. I said, I'd have panicked. I would drive. You, <laughs> you didn't panic? What? No, I was just kind of upset that my time was getting ruined for the race. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They're not worrying about that. They're just hey, 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 forget about the shark. Forget about the girl. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, Jim, can you tell us about yourself, a little bit about yourself and how you got started in this journey? Uh, I mean, you've got an amazing story. So we're going to be quiet. I like to hear your story. And the audience wants to hear your story. Yeah. Well, thanks. Um, I've been interested in fitness my whole life. I... Um, I think my dad sent, set a really good example for me. Um, he was always a really active person and a runner, and he worked a lot. So the best way for me to get time with my dad was to go out for a run with him, um, which was really special. So running's always been kind of nostalgic to that time for me. So I think that's part of why I like it so much. Um, I'm a marathon runner and a triathlete. And um, I just, I love being outside, mm -hmm. getting my vitamin D that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I've gotten into trail running lately too, which I love being out in nature and yeah. hitting the trails and just, I don't know, that's where I find my peace of mind when life gets stressful and busy. Yeah, you do a lot. You do a lot. Uh, I think you have the. I'm going to ask a personal question. Do you have any? Yeah. Do you have any children? Yes, I have four children and one really cute grandson. Wow, you don't look old. Okay, all right, I'm done. <laughs> drop, mic drop. Pop. <laughs> I didn't know that, Jen. You didn't. I didn't oh. know that, Jennifer, because I met your husband and he. Amazing, amazing guy. I mean, he has to be very comfortable in his skin to have a woman like that. Because I tell you, Doug, uh, with the utmost respect, he is the total opposite of Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling you. He's working out. <laughs> he is the total. But he is. He, when I met him, the thing that I that I that I really and this, I think this is a shout out to every man who who really is really comfortable in his own skin. You, you have a woman like that who's free to be herself and you can feel that when you meet him, you know? And uh, he he really, in your absence, he was he was telling us about what he felt about you. And you know, he, 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 Jennifer just go, oh, well, yeah. That's how she does it. You know, I'm going, girl, you know, shoot. Go ahead, Doug, you got a question? Yeah, so uh, Jen, if, this, this whole platform is all about sharing and giving back. And we want to basically just motivate people to get up out of, you know, off their couch and just get out there and do something. What would you say for the person that's sitting there kind of uh, not sure what to do, but they want to do something? How would you get somebody up and to, to motivate them? Well, first I would say it's going to change your life. Exercise is everything. Uh, mental health and sleep, um, the way you feel, the way you move throughout your day. Um, so I would really encourage it, even though, like I said, I've been unsuccessful with my husband. I keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, it's like yeah. shoemaker's shoes never have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, has no shoes. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like that. Um, I would say start small, you know, start with oh, taking a walk every day. Um, don't give yourself a gigantic goal. I think that's part of the problem that my husband sometimes has is he's like, okay, I'm going to start exercising. I'm going to do two hours a day right off the bat. And, you know, you can't just jump. <laughs> he does that. And then he gets so sore. He, I can't he's move. Not doing that again. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Hey, Jennifer, there's a, there's somebody had a question that says, uh, how, how, what do you eat? And it, it's a two part. It says, they say asking, what do you eat and how do you actually start from the beginning mentally to, is it age or is it what, 
what is it? How those are two questions. How do you start from the beginning and what do you eat? <laughs> How do I start from the beginning? What do you mean? What Fitness wise, if, they, if a person wants to be healthy, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, how do I mean, do they start with food? Do they go right into exercise or do they combine both? Uh, and and what is what? How do you eat? Give us a day. What they're asking is a day, a day in the life of Jen. Okay, what is your getting started? Yeah, what you eat and exercise are both extremely mm -hmm. important. Um, I think you should start small with both. Don't make any mm -hmm. drastic changes because that's not going to be sustainable for you. Make small changes and then continue to make small changes mm -hmm. until you get to your goal. Oh, my light just went out. Yep. Oh, we can still see you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, and what, what do you eat? What's as Tony said before? What's uh, what's breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Or, or what? What? Do you, what well, keeps I, you like and giving you the and, and the energy to do all these things? Yeah, you definitely need to eat for energy. I don't think people should be afraid to eat. You need to eat healthy foods. Um, obviously, I think things that come from the earth are best. You know, fruits yeah. and vegetables, and um, but I also think for me. If I be too restrictive with what I eat, then um, I end up binging later. So I believe if I really want something, if I really want a donut, I'm going to eat a donut. I'm going to eat one donut, one a dozen donuts, you know? There she goes. Yes. There she goes. You know, you, you know your body. You understand your body. You know when you're training for something, you know what the fuel that you have to put in. And that awareness, because we all have different base metabolisms, mm -hmm. especially as we age, everything's going to change. So that awareness of, of you, of how your body feels and, and responds to different things is so important. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, Jen, another question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite food? <laughs> My favorite food. <laughs> oh, yes. all the food. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I think, I think, I think what it looks like, uh, they're asking, uh, junk food. <laughs> okay, that's easy. Um, I do have a sweet tooth, I love sweets. Um, I try not to, I try, this is how bad my sweet tooth is. I try to limit myself to one a day. <laughs> I know you probably think like one a week or something, uh, <laughs> but I, gosh, my favorite, I, oh, everything. Lately, ice cream, because it's so, I'm in Las Vegas, it's so hot here, and just sometimes a little bowl of ice cream is the best thing. Are you talking about uh, non-dairy? <laughs> <laughs> no, you I'm do have non-dairy in the house. My daughter's I'm just joking. I go, I go for the full dairy. So here's the funny thing: you, I, you seem like you can eat pretty much whatever you want. You're, you're blessed with that DNA and that metabolism. Yeah, we, just, we don't even see her whole body, uh, Doug. I mean, she she just got a headshot, but this woman is one of those gifts from God. I, I'm still dealing with the four kids yeah. right now, so. Yeah. You have to prepare food for yourself and then your husband and the kids or <laughs> boss, or they, they just eat what you eat and vice versa. Um, yeah, they eat what I eat pretty much. My youngest son is very into fitness and he probably eats better than I do. Actually. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, you're one of the, you're blessed with an amazing. Well, example. I work really hard for it. I'm not uh, taking anything away from you, but it's yeah, it, it's it's one of those things. Certain people, and and I, I can't emphasize enough, it's the awareness of of you <clears> when, <throat> when you eat, the physical activity that you need to do to maintain. I mean, it's not a diet; it's a lifestyle. And mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, it's, we, we talk constantly on the show with all the food that's adulterated in in America, that's poisoned in other places. So you know, farm to table, just the awareness of what you're putting in your mouth and the mirror doesn't lie. I mean, wow. you're just gonna drop a few pounds or do whatever and, and train the swim Alcatraz, which <laughs> that just blows me away. Hey, I've been there. So ain't no way in the world, man, I'm telling you. 
I know I've been there on the boat to the the prison, mm -hmm. and I I can't in my whole mind. She just I got a newfound respect for her because in my mind she says a mile and a half, but she got caught in a current and it ended up two and a half. Brother, I would have been like screaming. I've been like help. I I mean I and I just Jennifer, I'm girl. I don't do. believe you, Tony. You can do anything. <laughs> So, you know, hey, you know, this is this is the side joke. Black people, I mean, I tried this because when I was in the military, we do drown proofing. And so actually they told us, my drill sergeant said that black people have dense bones. So we don't actually float very well. So when you have to be at the top of the water to remove all of your gear, take your pants, time off and make a life preserver out of it. I mean, with every you jump in with everything on. Yeah. Well, everybody else was at the top, but I had to do it at about 10 feet. Because oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going like that. So as a swimmer, I mean, I love to swim, but you know, Jennifer, man, I tell you, it's that's why, do you, I don't know if it's just true or not, but you see very black, very few black men swim, right? No, not very many. You see, that's because of our, it's, it's really a science that our bone densities we don't flow. We actually sink. Wow. It's really crazy how that works. I can't swim either because of my shoulders. My, you know, I I, I have the wind, but my my shoulders just feel like. But you can way. float though, Doug. You can float. What <laughs> <laughs> like I say. So Dan, as far as the uh, the marathon, what was your your time running? Yeah. The my best time. Uh, -huh. uh, my best time I ran was three thirty four. And what, three hours and what, what was yeah. your mile time? See? Sorry, what did you ask? Your mile time. What were you? What does that equate Oh, that's to? about right just over an eight-minute mile. That's crazy. Yeah. I know. I, well, I wish I could do it again. <laughs> so, but your, your last, but your, you just finished your last one, didn't you, Jen? No, I have one two weeks from yesterday. I am running the Big Cottonwood Canyon Marathon in Utah in two weeks. Oh, congratulations. We'd love to have you come back and-, and Yeah, that, that'll be really good. Recap? That okay. journey, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Jen, you wow. guys, well, okay. The questions, they, they're coming in. Um, What's the craziest thing you've done in your life? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, Don't that would be play. Alcatraz. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 the little little another piece of humor. Now she swim toward a prison. I'm swimming away. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, 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 you, you say so nonchalant. Yeah, I, I ended up by the golden door. Like it's no big deal. <laughs> Do you see her? She's not uh, no big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got another question. Okay, Smile, how funny. how do you keep track of your target heart rate? Um, I do wear a heart rate monitor. I've got one on right now because I'm gonna go for a run after this. Okay, um, and I have an app that that tracks it. Are you concerned okay. about that? Can you share the company, the company that you use. Uh, this is my zone. Okay, okay, my zone. Yeah. What, yeah, what I really mean? like it. There's an app and a community behind it. And, you know, where do you get it? Where do you get it? They, they, see, where do you um, buy it? I think it's, I don't know, myzone.com. I got it from work at EOS Fitness. They gave it to me, actually. Oh, this this yeah, might be. a competition going on this. with the managers who can get the most points. We used to have weekly competitions and monthly competitions. And they stopped doing it because I won every time. <laughs> I think they got sick. Why, why not? Hey, Jen, why not, Jen? Hey, what, what can what can we say? Yeah. You earn, they call it my zone effort points. I think yeah. it's based on your heart rate and yeah. you, know, you get points. Yeah. So well, I was maybe, always hey, like, maybe we can get my zone as a sponsor and have Jennifer be, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. I'm, we got to look that up. My zone. I really like it. So I am trying to um, experiment with like zone two training, mm -hmm. some easier training. I have a tendency to want to go all out all the time. And, you know, that's yeah. not the best mm -hmm. way to train. Mm -hmm. um, when did you yeah. when did you start this journey? How, how long have you been, how, how long have you been doing this for? 
Well, I've been active my whole life. I've always enjoyed running. Like I said, I used to do it with my dad when I was a kid. Um, you know, and I played sports in high school. Actually, in high school, I was the only girl on the boys' water polo team. That doesn't surprise me. They didn't have a girls' one, so I, I went to the, I'm like, Coach, can I play? It's like, you might. I don't see why not. So. Well, see what I tell you, Doug. I told you. Play by an eight minute mile. I mean, that's I'm telling that. you. Doug, you got to see her in person. So next time you're here, I got to introduce you to her because yeah. I know you, you might. Because you know Doug does a lot of TV, a lot of commercials. He has his own production company. This man, how long you been in acting, Doug? Oh, I since I was probably 18 or 19 years old. I've been on every. I've worn so many different hats in the entertainment. Uh, and see, he's 60, he's 61. Yeah, next Sunday, 61. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So, oh, Tony, okay. Jennifer. Myself and Tony, we constantly were doing challenges on this other platform we are. Yeah. On the burpees. And we went uh, we went to one of those rock climbing places. Uh -huh. yeah. Have you done that? Yeah. That's yeah. exciting, man. So fun, right? Oh, it's totally fun. We had a blast, man. Yeah. My, I tell you, my forearms is killing me, man, for two or three days. But next time yeah. I'm out, maybe you can join us. We're going we're gonna to go bowling together. Bowling. Oh, I'm terrible. Hey, that's my game right there. That's my oh, game. Okay, I got to see you in action. Hey, notice we didn't say rock climbing because Jennifer would kill us. <laughs> you know, she probably does the two fingers. You do no. two fingers, Jen? You don't do two fingers? Jennifer, you got another question. Okay. Well, this is a good. How do you balance your quality of life with exercise and work? How do you balance? That's it? a good one. That yeah, that's that's that. Now every there's women who really want to know that answer because I'm getting it on both ends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There that's you go. Okay. the tough part <laughs> is the balancing everything. Okay, um, now take it down for him, Jane, because I get you know you you know women. There's women out there who envy you. They they really respect you, but they don't really want. They don't really understand. So I think this will be the key. It's going to, I think it really is going to boost them having to really know who you are as a person because you're phenomenal to me because I talk to you all the time and I know, you me know, too, just from listening to you. Wow. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's like the problem in the world today is most women say they don't have time. And so I think this is why this question came because women lack balance. They, they go, too far left, too far right, and nothing in the middle. They don't know how to balance it. So you got the floor, girl. I'm, I'm, I'm. They're, they're waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting too. Okay, that's a <laughs> tough one. Um, I think you. I mean, for me, exercise is a priority. I know I'm going to do it every day. Mm -hmm. I plan it into my daily routine. It's not a question of if I'm going to exercise today. I know I am. So. Mm -hmm. I think for me, it works best to do it first thing in the morning because life gets crazy and doing it later in the day, too many things can can come up and and get in the way of it. Um, and yeah, you need to keep balance. I think you can overdo it with exercise. And depending on where you are in your life, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. Right now, I have the time to devote to marathon running because my kids are grown. When they were younger, you know, I, I didn't have the time for that. Um, but I still exercised every day. Wow. Kind of brushing your teeth is what I equated to. It, it's just, it's, you just do it. You don't think about it. And that's yeah. the beauty of, of doing it. I mean, I, I started when I was 15 years old, religiously, all the way through my life. Mm. But for people out there that, that <clears throat> want to start, I mean, what a better commitment to make to yourself and I'm going to respect. Absolutely. And everybody in your life's going to benefit from that. I say that all the time too. It's just so important. You're in a better mood. You're a better mom. You're a better employee. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, that, that's why we champion. I mean, just take that first step. Get off the couch. As you said yeah. earlier, just go for a walk. Yeah. Just create this awareness. That's how you feel. Here's, a, here's also Jennifer. They, that one of the senses is uh, they said, they said, can you actually um, in real time, I guess, break down the process of, because most most women come from a background where they not like yours. 
your relationship with your father, in relation to exercise, things like that. Mm -hmm. And they they really want to change. So psychologically, what actually you do you remember the moment that triggered you to like this is part of me, you know, just like eating and sleeping, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You go back to a, the, a moment where that happened, then your motivation start for a lifetime. You know what I mean? Because like you said, when you have kids, you know, after a woman gets pregnant, she goes through a lot of changes and you were able to endure those changes and hold on to who you are as a person, you know, and, you know, great mother, great wife, great friend, great, great boss, great everything. I mean, so nobody can compare. It's a mindset. So I think the question is, how can you help them break down the process first wow. here? That's yeah. Because yeah. women, they battle that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there's something you can say encouraging to kind of. Yeah, I will say I've been active my whole life, but when I was pregnant with my first two, um, I let it get away from me a little bit. I was still moving every day. I've never not moved my whole life, but I wasn't watch. I think I was young when I first got pregnant and I kind of felt like, woohoo, I can, I'm eating for two now. <laughs> I, gained, I bet, don't do that. I gained a lot of weight um, and kind of kept it on. Yeah. I, Wow. I was pretty heavy and I just felt heavy. It was mm -hmm. harder to move. It was harder to everything. It just, it, yeah. it doesn't feel good to be out of shape. And after my second was born, I was thinking, what happened here? Um, and there was a mindset change. I'm like, I don't accept this for myself. I don't accept this mm -hmm. for my children. My children deserve a mom that's um, energetic and, and wants to go outside and play with them. Um, so I made that a priority. Yeah. You know, and enlisted yes. the help of my husband to watch the kids in the morning so I could wake up and get my workout in. Teamwork, man. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. So la ladies, I'm hoping uh, that you guys are listening to Jennifer because she she's, she's truly my inspiration as well. Uh, they said, uh, do you balance your exercise routines with uh, do you balance your exercise routines with balanced cardio, motor skills, and strength training? Do you put all of that together? Absolutely. Yeah. So important. I um, Obviously, I'm kind of a cardio junkie if I like doing marathons and triathlons. Yeah, but I think strength training is so important uh, to prevent injury, especially as I'm getting older. Yeah. Um, and, you know, to just have a strong foundation to move from. How about yoga? Do you, do you practice yoga at all? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I want to do it more. I just exactly. did yoga class the other day. Hey, it's Eddie. Doug is too passive for her. <laughs> it's just it's hard for somebody that's a go, go, go. I'm sure it's going to become very easy, but we the, the last episode we were talking how important stretching Correct. is. Yes. Age. I mean, you have to warm up. You have to, be, you know, before you know, yeah. before you run a marathon, you're, you're getting limber. You're Making sure hey, you're gonna fire. I, you know, that's a good thing because we have we should have a marathon segment or a triathlete segment, you know, and advertise that next as it go. Uh Ariel said, uh it's it's great that you have such a support, a supportive husband and partner <clears throat> because that makes a difference. And that's the big thing too. We gotta we gotta get a guy's kudos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I would say, you know, people say behind every good man is a great woman, but I say beside I I say beside. I never. You don't put her behind him. I say beside. Beside. There's a great woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you go on this journey together. You know. Yeah, but yeah, he's lovely, absolutely supportive, and I couldn't do it without that. Oh, what a lovely uh, relationship with your father. Mm -hmm. That he's the one that mm -hmm. you, you would enjoy that. doing this, and that th those lovely memories that, that you know he'd be proud of you. Is he still alive? Sorry. Yep. Oh, so he's yeah. got oh, yeah. 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 He comes to yeah. some of my races and cheers. If he's not, if he's not, Doug, you know why? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's a ball of energy. How, how old is your father? Uh, 78. 
Is he still, and he's still active? He still goes to the gym every football. day. He doesn't he's run anymore, but he's uh, lifting weights and getting on the rowing machine. And he that's been amazing. That's what yeah. the quality of life and yeah. the yeah. dedication that you've respected. This lovely temple that we've been given to gives absolutely gives you that longevity, the agelessness. Of you're still out running around. You're able to share. You know, you're yeah. watching your your daughter compete and kick butt out there, and yeah. you know the grandkids and everything else. That's so important. Yeah. So, Jen, thank you so much uh, yes. for coming on the show. Thanks we really appreciate on. you. Uh, I mean, the people appreciate you. Uh, Good luck. I, uh, uh, race. I learned. I've learned about you things that I. Oh man. I well, when I see you, uh, man. So we're gonna videotape this too. This is video, so we're gonna okay. edit and send it to you. So, is there anything you'd like to say to the audience today to encourage them uh, to live? Yeah, to live. I think movement is living. If you're not getting up and moving every day, you're not living. And where can we? Where can we? Because you teach classes too. So where can we? Uh, where where can they find you? Uh, at EOS Fitness here in Las Vegas. Look me up. I'd love to see you in some of my classes. Yeah. And make sure your insurance is paid. No, I'm just kidding. I'm oh, kidding. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jen, thank you oh, so much. Yeah, it was a thank you. Good luck. Yes, respect. Love you. Bye. Have a great day. Tell your husband I said hello. I will. All right. Bye-bye. Happy Sunday. Wow. You're talking about somebody who's an inspiration. I that's, tell you, man. That's a true athlete. And, you know, having the children and going through the, you know, the postpartum of putting too much weight on it and realizing uh, I don't feel good. I want to, I, 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 I want to get back to where I was. Yes. Inspiration. Yeah. yeah. She's a, she is. And then, you know, and, you know, hopefully we, we can have her on because we, we got some really good responses off of her. And I think it was really cool to, uh, to, to if you, people don't talk to a real person like that. And there's so many depths to her. You know what I mean? And I've learned something about her today. You know, the marathon, the, the Alcatraz. And man, I'm thinking about Alcatraz, brother. A mile and a half, being blown two and a half miles. Really? That happened to me one time, Doug. I was swimming, and I lost track, and I looked up out of the water, and I didn't know where I was at. Bro, let me tell you something. I had, <laughs> I started to panic, and I was in the ocean in California. And I got caught in a um, under uh, tight rip tight, yeah. yeah. And I got caught. I didn't know, so I relaxed. And the lifeguard came out there, and he was talking to me. He says, "Together we can make it back." I says, "Cool." So I grabbed the buoy. He grabbed the buoy, and he had to bring me back. So we swam back together. Uh, and it took me out there in the ocean, bro. I didn't even realize I was out there. Yeah, because you're just swimming. They say, you know, out there listening. If you do get stuck in a rip tight, you just want to kind of go with it. Yeah, go horizontal. If yeah. you want to figure out where you are, because yeah. you know if it's pulling you, you want to you don't you don't want to go against it. You right. want to go horizontal to it because eventually you you can can get out of it. I right. actually, hey, so I mean, hey, let's. Uh, I know Mike Green is waiting in the in the in the in the in the in the room, and we've got so we're going to introduce that uh, that six week plant based challenge. Mike Green is the guy. Uh, we Wait. call him Rambro. Rambro. Yeah. Uh, hey, successful aging guru right here. We're going to be his students. Plant-based. I mean, Y'all are going to be his students for six weeks. We're going to learn the truth about plant-based because it's obvious that most of us don't really know what that is. Mike, you'd be amazed. People say, they say, uh, 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 I want to do it. Um, we can't eat meat. I mean, why are you asking me? A question? It's plant based. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and, and talk to you about it. If you want to talk, Mike Green will be on this Sunday. So I think we have some people uh, that are there, Mike. So how how are we gonna do this? Uh, how are we gonna you you take the you take the reins, brother? We're gonna we we're at your mercy. Also, you guys, uh, I want you guys to know too that Mike Green will be coming to Las Vegas. And he will be in Los Angeles here real soon. We're working on some things to get him to come and speak uh, so that you guys can really sit down and talk to him about, you know, plants and food and herbs and all kinds of stuff. He's an incredible, incredible young man. Okay, go ahead, Mike. 
Yeah, th thank you. Thank you, Tony. Your, your words truly humble me. Thank you so much. Uh, Plant-based, you know, with America and the obesity rate that's going on there, so many sick people um, that's dealing with non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable means that it's not passed from human to human. Mm. It is entirely brought on by the human themselves. Yes. Okay. Wow. So, so, so now the, the plant-based challenge is about a kickstart to healing these non-communicable diseases. For example, a non-communicable uh, disease could be uh, type 2 diabetes, um, also hypertension, uh, cardiovascular disease, which is still the number one disease in the world today, right? So forth and so mm -hmm. on. So it is going to be challenging for someone that is used to eating meat because, uh -huh. because now, now you have to cut that part out and now you have to become alive again <laughs> through the through the foods you eat, through the plant-based foods. So, so uh, for example, it's going to be sort of like you're you're raising the dead, you know, the, you know, because the, the, the cells raising in your body, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, the, you know, mm. so many trillions of cells in your body that needs nourishment, mm. especially from fluids. They need to be bathed in these right. fluids that are high in nutrients and also minerals to mm. benefit your health. That's mm. it. And this has been going on for, for centuries before we were even here. And it goes way, way back. Even Adam, what Adam had the apple, right? Didn't he have an apple? Fruit, <laughs> it's their fruit. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, and, and then, you know, you know, for the people out there that's into uh, religions and everything, it's in all of your um, Bibles, Korans, Torahs, you name it. The fruit shall be the meat. Yeah, and meat, meat is, yes, exactly. As your as your meat, it's the it's the flesh of the fruit. So when you eat these fruits, they digest in about maybe thirty minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you feel alive. But here's the mm. kicker. Here's the kicker. Once the fruits digest, right, and you you have this empty stomach and you're feeling. Don't eat because now your brain is going to show you why it loves when you mm. eat fruit because mm. your brain functions best on an empty stomach. Okay. Ah, I believe that. And now when you, when you think about it, th 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 think about if you eat a T-bone steak, uh, garlic mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. something else with the gravy on it and all of that. Okay, so then you have your digestive system that needs to work on that. Okay, so now how is the brain functioning now? Does yeah, it want to lay down and rest? Yeah, I, I think so. We, we have a thing in our community called the itis. The itis. So that's, that, that's like after Thanksgiving, people eat so much food. That's mm -hmm. all. The food itis, coma. They just want to lay down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 basically, it's a food coma. Right, 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 right. It's a food coma, and that sounds crazy. So it's, it's like is the, the plant base is, is to kick you back off to get back into your, your, your cells living again because you have a certain amount of cells that die, you know, every moment, and you have some that's renewed. Mm -hmm. So, how can you generate more cells to help benefit? your quality of life mm -hmm. and to move around and to function as a human being. Because remember, we are emotional beings mm -hmm. and we are in our thoughts, mm -hmm. but the plant-based is challenge is going to teach you how to just simply live life. And you could be alert. You could be on point at all times. Mm -hmm. it is just Mike. Sweet. Yeah, Mike, just, so you aren't always plant-based, right? You were, Oh no! Oh, forget! I, I grew up on chitlins, uh, um, uh, pork sausages. Remember that commercial? 
more pork sausages, mom, please. Remember that? Yeah, so you've you've lived both sides. And <laughs> of course. Look, look. We were eating pork anyway. <laughs> oh, what? I was Porky the Pig, little little yeah. Porky the Pig Jr. That's yeah, it, man. So. Uh, and look, and look, check this out. We, we didn't have that 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 normal bacon when I was growing up. We had slab bacon. That's what the fat. It was the thick, thick bacon. Like oh, uh, I remember thick. Yeah, and they they say meat is meat, meat and cheese are the two hardest things for your body to break down, and yeah. you know. It's it's why intermittent fasting is great because the the, the, the what the body is it's just processing the food that you put in there. So yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll take about you'll take about three days to, to digest a nice T bone or sirloin exactly. or something like that. About three days, and, and then you have remember it's going through the digestive tract to the mm -hmm. colon. But what people may not know is that the colon reabsorbs some of that food after you defecate. So it's reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. So a lot of times people say, uh, what is that thing called a, a colonoscopy? Yeah, colon colonoscopy, yeah. Okay, okay. They said, Mike, you ever had that? I said, I said no. You know what mine is? It's fiber. It's fiber. Uh -huh. That's Increase right. Increase your fiber intake, and guess what? The fibers is the sweepers of the intestines. It sweeps out all the trash. Yeah, there's two types of fibers. There's there's soluble and insoluble. One of them goes to yes. the food. The other one goes to the lining of the intestine that actually yeah, cleans you right out. Bulk. Ah. So what are some? Right out. You remember what we said, right? Clean you right out from your rooter to your tutor, right? <laughs> your rooter to your tutor. There you go. Fiber, baby. What are some good fibers, Mike? Oh, you know, on the top of the list is wheat germ. Wheat germ. Is one of the, it's one of the tops, right? But then, of course, you have you have your apples, right? You know, you have your pears. I eat and a lot of what's important to know is that, and it's sad in the states, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, the fiber is on the outside; is the skin. Ah. That's where all the fiber is at. So now, if you're eating inorganic fruits, right? Uh huh. Then it, it, you know they put these sprays on there. It's, it, it's some you may taste an apple. You, you may have like a, a, a plastic film on it. it like it, it, it tastes they like plastic. Them. Outside. They color them too because they're they're you know they they spruce them up. So I mean that's why here, perfect example. That's why farm the table. We just grew these. Just picked. You have a pepper. You have the the Japanese. Um, Farm to the table. You can't get any better than that. Picked and Be beautiful, right. beautiful. We, we got this growing right in the garden right now. Just oh, there you go. Right. green tomatoes. Yeah, you can't. That is the best way yeah. to eat out there. We can't emphasize oh, enough. It smells so lovely. Because oh, if, you, if you have the ability, that's why the awareness of what you're eating. We talk eighty-five percent, ninety-five percent. You are what you eat. Right. That's lovely thing. All the knowledge that Mike Green has uh, with with the plant base. I mean, you talk about energizing your body because mm -hmm. the way it's all broken down in your body and just the nutrients that just come from these green living. Absolutely. Eggs. You know, so some of the strongest creatures on earth are plant-based. We talk about the silverback gorilla. We talk about the rhinoceros. Mm -hmm. Okay. We talk about the giraffe. Okay. Talk yeah. about the hippopotamus. Right. Okay. Right. So all plant-based eaters, a yes. horse. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let those eaters, it will kick you to the moon or just uh, chop they, you. They the lean, moon. they lean too. Yeah, yeah. So, so not to get off, um, I, I know we're, we're right at, um, at 6 uh, p.m. now, but yeah. real quick, Tony uh, and Doug, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write out the format, I'm going to send okay. it, and it's going to be in detail about what you're going to need for the six week uh, plant based challenge because people are going to need certain tools. Like, let's say a juicer, a high speed blender, and also a food shopping list and what you need to buy, uh, strictly mm -hmm. based on uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, seeds, nuts, mm -hmm. and also grains. Okay. And don't uh, worry about getting hungry. You're not going to get hungry. You're going to be pretty full, you know? <laughs> All the program. We've, we've had like, you know, close to a dozen people reach out and want to take the challenge. So, 
Um, yeah, we've got, I think we've got uh, 10 people, I think. 10, 10 people, I think. So we're excited okay. to see how, you know, and we love to see photos before and after. And what we would do is we'd bring, we bring them on and we talk to them how, you know, uh, one week, you know, a month. Mm -hmm. and, and, and being that we don't know who's actually joining, then right. I think it's very important uh, for the audience, and I, may they be listening now, that you go to your primary care physician to get the okay to do this challenge. Yes, because you may, you may be obese, and that's okay. We're here to, to give you this information that can start you on your healthy journey so you can be well. But it's very important, especially if you're on medications, for example, heart medication, you know, um, can you can you even eat fiber? Some people not even not able to eat fiber. Some people, they say that they're allergic to fruits. And that's insane. I never heard nothing like it. I have never heard that. Go to your doctor, get the OK before you start the program. And once you get the thumbs up for them, especially if you're on meds, then it's a go. That's well said. And, you know, we talked, uh, you know, before about where, you know, America is one of the only places in the world that it's uh, the health care is a, is a big business. So that's why it's you have to take that into your own hands. How do you feel? How do you feel after eating these certain foods? Do you feel better? Your skin's going to clear up. You're going to have you're going to be more have more vitality. All these things. So that is that that's the proof that if you just commit to this for this period of time, you will see the difference. You will know the energy, mind clarity, all these things, because our food is adulterated to the point of almost poison. Yeah, mm -hmm. you wouldn't put 85 uh gasoline inside a Lamborghini, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Every 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 automobile has its own fuel, a plane, a train, a high speed car. You know, they all have a, a high speed boat. They all have their own specific fuels that they can thrive off of. Fruits and vegetables and plant based are the foods we need to thrive and to feel well. Now, I'm not knocking people that eat meat. This, this is not about that. This is about healing. This is about people that want to feel something and feel alive. Mm -hmm. Right, and yeah. just could, could could like uh thirst and that aliveness and feel good again. Yeah, but it's like you know, well, what's the thing there? It, it, do they still have that terminology over there? The uh, the good old couch potato? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's still here. Oh, it's still there. Okay, okay, especially with Netflix, Amazon. I mean, people yeah. come home and instead mm -hmm. of getting up to do something, they're, 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 they're a couch potato. Well, so, I'm gonna bring you. I'm, I'm gonna bring you back to life. That's that's for sure. That's what that's what Mike Mike's gonna do. And once again, I mean, on this challenge, just the awareness. Read labels. Organic. If you have the ability to get organic food, if not, just go go to vegetables. Go to fruits. It's it, 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 and it's not that expensive either. All you have to do is it. You just find a, a reliable farmers market. Actually, when you go to a farmer's market and you ask questions, the farmers love to answer mm -hmm. your questions. Oh, That's, their job. Their That's their business. That's yeah, their yes. Yes. Sustainable yes. Yes. Food. yes. Sustainable yes. foods. Yep. Yes. So. That's how we're going to improve all of our quality of lives. Stay yeah, for sure. Food. For sure. Because, you know, like the biggest thing they're, they're asking is... Uh, Let's see. Um, let me see. One of them said, uh, "I'm because they they're talking to me with my phone." One of them said that, um, "What do they have to? What what is the process? For example, um, like we're gonna get the names. I'll give you all the names or whatever. We're gonna send that so that you'll know who you're dealing with. They gotta send you uh, a photo of who they are uh, for all of us to see." Uh, you can't be ashamed. Take them before or whatever, and then six weeks later, we're taking after. Every week, they have to come on the show to yeah. share their to share yeah. their experiences uh, with with us, so that we can actually help them, and they can talk to you personally. So they actually we're actually giving back to them, 
And what I know for a fact is every one person is connected to 10 people. So the, the mark that we're making here is that to prepare for when you come to Vegas to speak and when you go to LA, we can set that up and this is how they get to know you. And, and we're going to have a great time with this, you know, so we can yeah. have our ageless, ageless. Uh, give them back. It will, it will be a joy. But, you know, Tony, the, the other thing is with the uh, with, with the 10 that you have so far is that um, we need to uh, definitely find out um, if they're on certain type of meds, if any. I give you an example. Some people that have hypertension they cannot have citrus fruits. Right. Not have citrus fruits because it enhances the, the medication. So things mm -hmm. could go wrong. And this is just for my over 20 years of experience in this. And this is why we do the par Q. We have mm -hmm. to ask these questions for everybody's safety so they can mm -hmm. have an enjoyable experience with this yeah. challenge. So check with your doctors and make sure that this is able, you're, you're able to take this, uh, this challenge Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. So I guess uh, what we, this is the end of a great, boy, yes. this is a good show, well, man. Always, we talked to a, a champion Alcatraz singer. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, swimmer. Well, I love, I love uh, you, you teach me something every time that you're on. And I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. You, know, you take me to another level, and I, I love to learn. So. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Likewise. He, he likewise, likewise can't can't you tell, Mike? He loves to, Doug loves to learn, man. I'm a, I'm a yeah. philomath, a polymath, and any other math I can come up with. I don't and like math. You and then, with and math then, on it, I don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, and to, <laughs> no, and, and to Jennifer, and to Jennifer, the, the, the guest today, yeah, she was sure. fantastic. Yeah. And she is the epitome of what I call a superwoman. And I would yes. like to say to her personally, Jennifer, grand felicitations on all uh, of your accomplishments. Yes. And good luck. Break, break. break what do they say in showbiz? Break a leg on, on your marathon, but don't really break a leg. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, any encouraging words, gentlemen? Starting with you, Mike. Okay, I would like to say this: you can't hide from yourself because everywhere you go, there you are. So come on out. Come on. Well oh, said, Mike, and I will elaborate a little bit more on that. Everything <laughs> starts with you. Look in the mirror and make that promise to yourself, and you will be amazed, surprised, gratified by making that commitment. And last, but certainly not least, there's a question. Asian. There's a oh, question. There's another question. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> can you eat? Can you eat beyond meat? Okay. Don't process. Don't eat that stuff. Excuse yeah, me. no, no. The, the, the thing is with Beyond Meat, the, 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 okay, with all of the um, alternative meats. It looks meat, like we're going to have like, a longer show. Yeah, process. all the alternative meats and everything like that, just make sure that they are not soy-based, okay? Make sure that they're not soy-based because the thing is they're processing the soy in the U.S. where it's GMO, Okay, yeah. now if you can, here's here, here's the, here's the key. If you can find a plant-based pea meat protein, that's going to be the key. Uh, uh, a meat alternative that's made from peas. Well, okay. you just might. Yeah, Candice makes a lovely uh, split pea soup. It's a yeah. great protein. It's 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 a lovely and and getting your protein. Uh, from from plant bases, you know, somewhat important. Like I said, too, but, how but you, you, you know, your, your meats are going to be in this challenge. You're going to have your lentils. Right. You're going to have your portobello mushrooms, things mm -hmm. of that. And they're That's quite good. meaty. Yeah, they're yeah. quite meaty. You could cook them just like steaks. And you know, some, some people are talking about, uh, about uh, uh, how do you stay full. Well, don't worry about staying full. Just, just uh, you know, uh, it's as you start the program, Remember, once a week, you're actually going to have to be on the show to share with us your experience, and we're going to walk through this together, okay? Absolutely. So, unfortunately, we're out of time. Let me, and, let me, let me interject real quick. Right. So eating, you know, eating the plant-based foods, you can always come up, and if we, we talk about the sauce. There, yeah. are, there are lovely ways, you know, honey, Dijon mustard, a little olive oil, a little vinegar, 
makes a lovely salad dressing. So you can take these things and, and you know, spice them up with just making the, the, the sauce, so to speak. And you can find these healthy sauces, too. You guys are awesome, man. So yeah, now I got to say my encouraging stuff now. Okay. So remember to subscribe, share, and like. Yes. I'm going to leave you with this. Ageless. Ageless life isn't about finding yourself. Life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. Oh, there you go. I love that. Create. Hey, 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 we love you guys. And Doug, Mike. This with a humble I heart. I thank you guys for so much. We'll see you guys next Sunday. Plant based challenge, y'all. Let's do this. Let's sign up for this. I'm excited. Bye bye. Work them arms, work them legs. Strong for life because hard work.